comfortable seated position. That could be legs crossed, it could be kneeling, wherever you can get yourself comfortable to focus on your breath. Feel your sitting bones coming down into the floor, the mat, the block, however you're sitting. Eyes can close where the gaze is off your cheekbones. Shoulders back and down. Palms down or up, your choice. Bring your attention to your breath. Feel your inhale through your nose. Feel your exhale, nose or mouth. As you inhale, breathe into your diaphragm, your ribs, your chest. When you exhale, feel your breath release all the way out. Stay here, one more full inhale, full exhale. At the end of your breath, eyes can open, hands meet, heart center. Inhale, reach up, hands heart center, exhale. Two more times, so reach up with an inhale, Hands, heart center. One more time, reach up, inhale. Hands, heart center. Bring your hands to your lap, cow cat. Lift the chest, feel the inhale. Drop your chin to your chest, round through your spine, exhale. Lift with an inhale, round, as you exhale, one more time, lift, inhale, round, exhale. Sit up tall, bring your arms to your side, right arm goes up, lengthen the right side of your body, reaching up and over. Drop the right arm, left arm goes up, lift up and over. One more time, each side, the right arm goes up. Left arm goes up. Bring your arms to goal post. Start by taking the hands behind your head. Open the elbows, take an inhale. Squeeze your elbows front, exhale. Open with an inhale. Squeeze as you exhale. Two more times. Open, inhale. Squeeze, exhale. Open, inhale. Squeeze, exhale. Keep it open. Go post here. Little twist for the upper back. Just enough 
to get the mobility and movement through your upper back. Just a gentle twist side to side. And remember to breathe a little exhale as you add the twist. Bring the arms out to the side right here. Reach the hands behind. Lift the chest, lift your chin, open the front of your body. Arms to the side, hug a big ball, open between your shoulder blades, drop the chin. Relax your arms down, take a big shoulder roll. Take a shoulder roll up, back and down. We are going to start moving through the lower body. When I do that, I do remove the block. You may or may not choose to do that. Your legs can come out in front. Here comes your wiper legs. Take it side to side, wherever it feels okay for you. Bring it to the center right here. You can stop the foot, lift the leg, add some ankle circles, take them around in one direction. Take it around in the other direction. Keep that movement through your ankle. Set the foot down. Here comes the other side. You're going to add your ankle circles in one direction. Take it around in the other direction. Butterfly bound angle. Take the bottoms of your feet together. Wherever it feels good for you, maybe you're closer, maybe you're further away. Take some upper body circles right here. Low torso circles as you take it around. Wherever it feels good. Here is the other direction. Take it around in the other direction. Slide your legs out in front of you. A little hamstring, now be nice. We haven't warmed up the back of our legs. I have a bend in my knees. Just feels a little better when you're starting out. Be nice to your hamstring, the back of your legs. Take the legs a little bit wider. So now you're gonna open them up. And again, if you wanna keep a bend in the knees, go for it. We haven't done any stretching, warming up for the back of your legs. So be nice right here. Just keep it small and gentle. And just a little bit wider, if you can take it a little wider wherever that is for you. We start bringing ourselves all the way up. You can slide the legs in, child's pose. Bring your legs in. Use this to give yourself the beginning of a big stretch. Now, it could be if you're really tight in your hips, use it to stretch out your hips. You might use it to stretch out your spine, your shoulders, wherever you need it. We are going to walk our hands to one side, stretching out this side of the body here. Walk your hands off to the other side. Feel this stretch down the side of the body. Bring it back to center one more time. Take this stretch wherever you need it most. Bring yourself to your hands and knees. It'll be your cow cat. Set yourself up. Drop the belly, look up. Round through the spine. That's the drop of the tailbone. Drop the top of the head. Take a couple of these. One more time. When you finish this one, bring yourself into Sphinx. Bring your forearms down. Walk your feet away. And here's that stretch. There's the lengthen, 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 lengthen. 
release down. This is your cobra. Again, maybe you start with a little smaller cobra if you want to keep it a little bit smaller. If you want to take it up high and go for it, just make sure it feels good. So sometimes when we just start keeping it smaller, it might feel better. Release down. We're coming back to our sphinx. There comes the stretch right here. Lengthen for your sphinx. Reach through the top of your head. One more time, cobra, as long as it feels okay. You want to really think shoulders back. Bring it up, and there's that little look if you want it. Bring yourself down and press back. Child's pose. One more time. Here comes that child's pose. Bring yourself back to your hands and knees. We are going to thread the needle. Take one arm under, wherever that is for you. So you might be part way, you might go all the way. Once that's thread under, option, slide the leg out to the side. So I'm adding a little bit leg movement here. So I have one leg to the side, threading the needle, big exhale, release it out. Bring yourself to your hands, keep the leg out. Add a little rock of your hips back and forth. There's a little back and forth rocking. Finish this one, we thread the needle on the other side. Arm goes under, and then you slide it, thread it, Maybe you reach, leg can go out to the side. Really exhale. Bring yourself up. Rock your hips back and forth. There's your little rock back and forth. Couple more, just getting that movement through your hips. Finish this one. Bring yourself up. We're on our hands and knees. We're coming into our balance. Start by taking one arm out to the front. So we'll want to pull in the core. Reach the arm to the front, hold it here. Now, if when you're ready, you would take the leg behind, lift the leg, hold it here. Start opening the arm and leg to the side. You're going to take it off to the side. So we're going to make it a little half X as you hold it. Bring it back to the front, relax the arm and leg down, and now you take it to the other side. So first the arm. That's, I want you to get in touch with your core. Here comes the leg, and we're gonna hold it here. I want you to level up the hips, hold the pose, Exhale. Slide the arm and leg to the side. Hold it there. Remember to breathe. Exhale. Bring it back to the front. Arm and leg go down. Lower down to your forearms. We're going into dolphin. This is for your shoulders. Push your elbows down so you can lift up. Stay on your knees or tuck your toes, lift your hips, push into your elbows. More challenging, walk your feet a little bit closer. Hold it here.
Relax your arms and legs. Take your child's pose. Sweep your arms by your side. Really relax through your neck and your shoulders. From here, return to your space. Take your forearms down. Walk your feet away. This is your chance. One more time, big stretch. Front, back of the body. Lengthen it out. Release it down. Reach your fingertips out in front of you. Now, they might be a little bit wider. You could make them a wide. You might keep your feet close, but you could also open them a little wider. Add a little hover of your upper and lower body. And now lift, opposite arm, opposite leg. You're taking a little lift and lift. Lift and lift. Go at your pace. Look at the floor. Keep your torso stable as you lift your arm and leg. Take a locust. Sweep your arms back by your side. Let your fingers touch your toes. Bring your hands by your ribs. Cobra. Bring yourself all the way up. And take a look off to one side. Look off to the other side. Bring yourself down. Meet in a cow cat. Now you're on your hands and knees. Take your cow cat wherever it feels good. Finish this one. Meet right in the center. It is going to be your low lunge. Bring one leg to the front. Fingertips, reach up. There's the lift. I want you to feel the stretch. Lean away from the back leg. So there is your little stretch off to the side. Bring it back to center. We're taking this into our side plank. Take your hand down to the mat. Bring your front leg around. Set yourself up, side plank on the knee. Bring your elbow to your knee, crunch in, and extend it out. Here's your in and your up. Crunch and extend two more. Hold this one out. Bring the heel towards the butt right there. Maybe you can reach your ankle and add a little extra stretch for the front of the leg. Bring yourself to your hands and knees. We set ourselves up on the other side. Bring the opposite leg forward. Let your fingertips reach up. Lean off to the side. Bring it back to center. Hand meets the mat. Side plank here. Sweep the leg back. Elbow to knee. Bring in the crunch. Extend it out. Bring it in. Extend it out. There's your in and out. In, out one more time. Hold it out right here. Bring the heel to your butt. Reach the hand to your ankle. Open up your quadricep right there. Relax back into your four, your cow cat right here. Take that cow cat wherever it feels good. 
Finish that one. Ground your hands down, downward dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, wherever your downward dog feels good. We're gonna start, bend your knees. I want you to bend the knees and push your hips back. Lengthen your spine. Legs go straight. Heels come up. Let your bum touch the ceiling. And now push your hips into the wall behind you and let your heels come down to the mat. Walk your dog. Lift one heel, press the other one down. Press and switch. Press and switch. Finish this one. Connect with your breath. Breathe into your diaphragm, your ribs, your chest. Take a full exhale. Release it all up. One more time. Full inhale. Full exhale. Bend your knees. Look towards your hands. Step or walk towards the top of your mat. It is a halfway lift. Use this to lengthen, stretch out right here. Soften the knees, rain bow. Drop the top of the head. Maybe you reach towards your elbows. Little hips side to side. Bring yourself to center and gently roll up. One vertebra at a time. Once you get up, shoulders up, back and down. Take a big inhale. Once your hands are up, stretch off to one side. Lengthen. Bring it to center. Take it off to the other side. Bring it to center. Hands to the back of your mat or low back right here. You come up. Chest opens, forward fold wherever it feels good for you. Bend your knees enough to connect your ribs to your thighs. If you can reach your big toes, reach towards your big toes, add a little extra stretch. With an inhale, reach all the way up. Hands come to heart center. We'll do that one more time. Here's your reach up, stretch to the side. So once you get there, there comes your length into one side. And now you take it to the other side. Bring yourself up, hands to your low back. Lift your chest up to the ceiling. Forward fold, bend your knees as much as you need to. Bring yourself down, maybe you reach for your toes, maybe you reach to the back of your legs, wherever it works. With an inhale, bring yourself all the way up. Big inhale, reach all the way up. Hands, heart center. We're gonna practice a tight rope today. Heel in front of toe. Now maybe you like to keep it a little bit wider. We're adding some movement. So find your tight rope for the day. Open your arms to the side. Add little twists right and left. So we're gonna add that little mobility back as you hold your tight rope. Find your focal spot. Bring it back to the front. Fingertips go up. Heels come up. There is a lift of your heels. Heels and arms come down. And we switch sides. Take the opposite foot in front. And again, maybe you're a little bit open. Maybe you have them right in front. 
I'm a little staggered today. It's what works each day. Goal post arms. Add your twist. Meet in the center. Fingertips reach up. Heels come up. Bring your heels down, bring your arms down, take your feet. We're gonna take them about hip width, come into your chair pose. Let your hips slide back. Now your arms might reach to the front. That is not for everybody. Sometimes coming into goal pose feels better for your back or even your hands at your heart center. It really depends on your back. So please listen to your body and choose where the arms work best for you today. Forward fold. Bring yourself down wherever it feels good. And then with an inhale, bring yourself all the way up. Hands heart center. We're going to do that one more time. Chair pose. Let your hips slide down. Fingertips can reach up. Maybe your goal pose. I'm bringing my hands to heart center. I'm adding on right here. It's your choice. Here comes the lift of the heels. Heels come up just enough to challenge you. Maybe you sink your hips a little bit more and lift your heels a little higher. Take one more breath. Heels go down, reach up, take a big inhale all the way up. Take your forward fold, relax it down. Wherever that feels good, that's where you go. It could be halfway. Sometimes that feels best. Maybe it's all the way. You know what works for you. Big inhale, reach all the way up. Hands. Heart center. Warrior one, take your right foot towards the front. Your left foot can go back. Fingertips are going to go up. So first, I want you to get comfortable in the lower body. So if you ever feel tweaking in your low back, adjust the back leg. Fingertips can go up. Now, if they're straight up and it bothers your shoulders, go diagonal. That'll feel better for your shoulders. Connect with your breath. Make sure you have a solid base through your feet here. Open your arms to the side. Take an inhale, lift your chest to the ceiling. As you exhale, hug a big ball. Inhale, lift your chest towards the ceiling. Exhale, hug a big ball. Inhale, open. Exhale, hug. One more time, inhale, here's your hug, bring your hands to your hips, strain the front leg, pull the right leg back, the hip back, add a little forward fold. My legs are straight, my hip goes straight down. Pyramid, now I'm gonna keep my hands on my hips today. You go as low as feels good for you. You know what works. And with an inhale, bring yourself all the way up. Step your back leg forward. Here's warrior one on the other side. Step the foot back. Now each side is different. You might need to adjust the back foot. Fingertips go up when you're ready. Connect with your breath. Feel a solid base through your feet. Open the arms to the side. 
Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, hug a ball. Inhale, open. Exhale, hug your ball. Here's the inhale. Here's your hug. One more time. Inhale. Hug. Open the arms. Bring them to your hips. Front leg goes straight. Pull the hip back. Forward fold. Pyramid right there. Only go as low as works for you. Connect with your breath. Feel the inhale. Feel the exhale. Bring yourself all the way up. Step to the top of the mat. We are going through a vinyasa right here. Take your inhale, reach up. Forward fold. Soften the knees. Relax the neck. Halfway lift. Hands meet the mat. Walk back into your plank pose. Set yourself up in plank. Lower yourself down for Cobra. Wherever it feels good, that's where you take it. Bring yourself down. We meet hands and knees. We're on all fours right here. Bring your knees under your hips. Set yourself up. We're taking one leg out to the side. It's going to be a bent knee. So you're going to lift to the side and then squeeze it down. Stay inside. Each time you're going to do a lift and a lower. We just lift the leg to the side. You bring it down. Lift the leg to the side. Release it down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Four more here. Try to stay centered. Now hold this one up. Keep the leg up. Can you engage your core and take the opposite arm away? So you're holding yourself. One arm, one leg. Release it down, arm and leg. Take a quick child's pose, stretch it back. We have the other side to go, so I just want you to loosen it up. If you need some wrist circles, take wrist circles. Do what you need to do. Then bring yourself back up. Here comes the other side. You're going to take the opposite. Lift the leg to the side and squeeze it down. Now we try to stay centered. I say that I don't want you to lean off to the side when you lift the leg. That means you might have a smaller range of motion. That's perfectly fine. We lift, we lower. You have two to go. Hold this one up. Now really center yourself. Arm goes off to the side. It's the opposite arm. You hold it here. Relax your arm and leg down. Ground your hands. Take a downward dog. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips. Press back. Here is the full inhale. Full exhale. At the end of your breath, you would soften the knees. Look towards your hands. Step, walk. Halfway lift when you get there. Hold this stretch. 
Feel the lengthening from the tailbone to the top of the head. Forward fold, release down wherever that is for you, a little, a lot. Reach all the way up. Hands, heart center. It's your warrior two. Right foot stays to the front, left foot steps out. So right here, you want to set yourself up in your comfortable warrior two. Fingertips reach side to side when you're ready. Soft in the shoulders. Gaze over the front fingertips. Check in with your breath. Strain the front leg. Reach your fingertips to the side. We're going to triangle. So first you reach. Bottom arm can drop. Top arm goes up. There's your triangle. Be nice to yourself here. Think straight lines. Still going to the top of the head. Lots of effort happening here. Focus on your exhale. With an inhale, bring yourself up. Right toes come in, left toes go out. It's warrior two on the other side. There's the bend of the knee, level the hips, fingertips reach. Gaze is over your front fingertips. Take one more breath. Front leg goes straight. Reach to the side wall. This is lengthening. Relax the bottom arm. Top arm goes up. And lengthen through the top of your head. Think long, straight lines through the legs, through the spine. That means we gotta pay attention to where our head is. If it likes to drop, lift it up. With an inhale, bring yourself up. Let your toes face the front. Here comes your forward fold. You can soften the knees, bring yourself down. Maybe you're on your fist. Maybe you take your hands to the mat. You could also choose to walk your hands in line with your feet. And back to with your breath. With an inhale, bring yourself up, take your time. Take a big step back to the top of your mat. There's your step. Hands, heart center. We're going to bring ourselves and practice our tree pose. So wherever you like to practice tree, you choose, it could be kickstand today. Maybe you want to take it on your lower leg. Maybe you take it up high. Then where you take your arms are your choice. Focus on your breath. Begin relaxing your arms. Relax your legs. Shake it out. Set yourself up for the other side. Wherever it works for you today, once you have your feet, you're going to choose where you want to take your arms. Step 
Stay connected with your breath. Relax your arms, relax your legs. Meet at the top of your mat. We're doing a half vinyasa. We're gonna return into our warrior two. So first take a big cleansing breath, reach up. Forward fold, big or small, wherever it feels good. We're just refreshing ourselves here. Big reach up, take a big inhale. Bring your hands to your heart center. Here's your warrior two. Right foot stays to the front, left foot steps back. Setting yourself up right here. Make those adjustments. Look at your feet. You want your toes pointing ahead. Get your hips level. And zip up the core. Reach your fingertips. We have strong legs, relaxed arms, gazes over the front fingertips. Reverse your warrior. Your legs stay strong, solid. Upper body reaches back. There's that lengthening. Extended side angle. Forearm can come to the thigh. Back arm reaches. First, lengthen the side of your body. If you want more, you would drop the bottom arm. That's an option. Take one more breath. Warrior two, bring yourself up. Take a few breaths right here, reconnect. Soften the shoulders, ground the feet. One way to think of the grounding, we press down and then pretend drag your heel to the arch. That's gonna activate your legs a little bit more. Relax your arms down. Straighten the right leg, take it right over to the other side. It's warrior two on the other side. Bend, so here comes solid feet, level hips, fingertips reach. Connect with the breath, activate the legs a little bit more if that works for you today. Reverse your warrior, strong legs. You can keep the activation in your legs as you move the upper body. Extended side angle, come down to your forearm. First, get the pose. Then if you wanna add the drop of the bottom arm, go for it. Just make sure your legs are strong, your core is strong. Warrior two, bring yourself up. We're gonna stay here for a few breaths. Shoulders soften, gaze over your fingertips. Relax your arms down. Strain your front leg, toes go to the corners of your mat. Here comes our goddess pose. Let your toes reach out because you slide down. You let your knees follow the toes. Get your solid base through your feet. Open up to your goalpost arms. Here's those little twists side to side. Hips are steady. Feet are planted into the mat. Just a little movement for the upper back. Hands are behind your head right here. Open it up. Drop the right elbow a little off to the right crunch. Bring it up. Drop the left. Right here. Center. Reset yourself. Zip the core. Engage. And then move. Crunch to the right. Bring it up. Reset. Then crunch. We'll do that one more time. You reset in the center, get solid, add your crunch. Bring yourself to center, reset, then lean. Bring it back to center. Bring your hands to your hips. Drop a little lower. Add a little pulse up for eight, seven, six. 
five, four, three, two. Bring yourself up. It is side lunges, side to side. Adjust your feet. Remember this option, you could lift your toes. It's gonna take you a little bit deeper. It doesn't feel good for everybody. You would only do that if that feels okay for you. One more time, each side. We're going into our forward fold. That means your toes have to face the front. There comes your fold down, your hips Press back. Maybe you're on your fist. Maybe you come down to your palms. You can always walk your hands between your feet. And then I want you to check. The weight is even between the heels and the balls of the feet. So if you're leaning into your heels, adjust the weight so it's even heels and ball of the foot. Exhale, relax into the pose. With an inhale, soften the knees, bring yourself all the way up. Here comes your lift up. You can walk your feet in right here. Shake it out. We're gonna practice our warrior three pose. When we come out of it, we're gonna add the stretch of crossing our legs. But first it's your warrior three. Set yourself up whichever leg you want to start with. Now remember, you could always keep your toes down. You might lift a little bit. We're thinking long straight lines. So you want to get the heel reaching away from the top of your head. Hold your warrior three. Arms are going to go wherever they work for you today. When you come up, take the foot behind your ankle. The legs are crossed. Fingertips go up. Add your stretch to the side. So you lean away from the back leg. You bring it to center. Take your hands to your thighs. Press your hips back. There's another stretch for your hamstrings right here. Bring yourself up, take your time. On cross, we have warrior three on the other side. Get those stable base through your foot. Then you gradually lift a little or a lot. Focus on your breath. When you come up, back foot goes behind the front. Fingertips reach up. Add your side stretch. Bring it back up. Take your hands to your thighs. There is that forward fold. Now you're gonna take it wherever it works for you. Start bringing yourself all the way up. Take your time, connect with your breath. On cross your feet, you can shake it out. We are gonna meet at the top of our mat. We're taking it down into the vinyasa. Once we get there, we are staying there. Here comes your inhale, reach up. Forward fold is your exhale. Halfway lift. Bring your hands to the mat, step, walk back, however you want to get into your plank. Wherever the plank works for you, you might be on your knees, you might be on your toes. We lower to the mat, cobra, when you get there, make it feel good, shoulders back, 
Maybe it's a little cobra, maybe it's a big cobra. It's wherever it works for your body. Release down, press back into a child's pose. Give yourself a stretch right here. And then if you need to loosen your wrist, stretch through the upper body, maybe you take your fingertips towards your shoulders. And then go ahead and release it right here. So I'm gonna do a little bit of core work when we're on our hands and knees. Uh, here's a suggestion, if your wrist bothers you. So when I say this, we're gonna be doing this move, right? Where our knees come a little bit off the mat. If your wrist bother you, try this today. Roll part of your mat up and then put the heels of your hands on the mat so your wrists aren't bending back so far. You have a little bit more, um, they're a little straighter. And then when you're ready, you would tuck the toes. Now we also have to make sure, shoulder blades back and down, pull the belly button in, there comes your hover. And then we hold it there. So it's for your core. I had you roll the mat. That is sometimes that extra little, uh, taking some of the bend out of your wrist is what you need. Hold it a little bit longer. Release the knees down. Now keep your mat rolled up for, we'll do that one more time. Give yourself a stretch though. Take a little break. If you need wrist circles, take wrist circles, whatever it is that you need. We're gonna do that one more time. Now, maybe you don't need to have the, the mat rolled up. That's fine, then just let it go. I just wanted to show options. This works anytime you're on your hands and knees, you might wanna just get a little something so the bend in your wrist isn't so big. Here we go for your hover, shoulder blades back first. Second, pull the belly button in. Then you tuck the toes, it's a little lift of your knees. If that is working today and you wanna tap your toes forward a little bit, when you tap, did you keep your shoulder blades back and down? Is your core still engaged? And there's your little tap and tap. We'll do four, three, two, and one, go ahead and release it down. Let your mat go. You can go ahead and let it unroll. Take a child's pose, wrist circles, maybe you, whatever, I don't know, whatever feels good, do what you gotta do. Give yourself a nice stretch. And we are gonna start bringing ourselves through so we can take a bridge. We'll do a couple other moves. Have a block ready, have your strap ready. Before we go into bridge, I'm adding a couple other movements. Bring yourself down to the floor. Feet are flat, knees are towards the ceiling. Take your hands by your sides, palms down, and then just reach the arms up and overhead. We're gonna just do a little extra movement for our shoulders. Our, our pelvis doesn't move. Our spine doesn't move. Only your shoulders. Give you that little reach up and release it down. Do reach up and bring it down. One more time. Now you're gonna take your arms in the goal post. They're gonna come right by your side. You're gonna take the backs of the hands, so now you're in goal post. Palms up, and now take it all the way through so palms are down. So I'm in a goal post. I drop the backs of the hands to the mat. I drop the palms to the mat. So now I'm doing a little bit of shoulder rotation, and then we check. Did you keep your pelvis stable? and your spine stable as you take that rotation. Let's do one more each direction. And then when you finish that one, 
Take your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Take your knees over your hips. Here is your dead bug. Opposite arm, opposite leg. There's your tap and bring it up. I like to keep a little bend in my knee. It feels better. If you decide to strain your leg, just make sure you kept your pelvis level and your spine stable. And then you take that reach and bring it in. It's a reach and bring it in. Exhale with the effort. One more time on each side. And then keep it center. There's the lap. Open to the side. Opposite arm and hold it there. Take a little hold here. Bring it in. Opposite arm, opposite leg to the side. Little pause. Hold it here. We'll do that again. Open to the side. Alternate sides. Keep your hips level. Bring it in. Now we want to avoid rocking. So you're using the control as you open to the side. You bring it in. We'll do one more on each side. Open to the side. Bring it in. Open to the side. Bring it in. Bring your feet and your arms down. Take your bridge. You choose. You could use the bridge like we usually do. Press into your feet. Block is an option. If you want to slide it under your hips, go for it. That would be a more restorative, restful version. You take what works for you. If you want to activate the legs and lift up, go for it. We are going to stay here for about 30 seconds. We have about 10 more seconds to go in your bridge. Start releasing your hips down. Take your windshield wiper, a little side to side for your wipers. Bring your knees into your chest. If you want to use your strap today, I have my strap handy. Grab your strap. We're going to be adding some movements with the strap. But if you don't have a strap, no worries. We don't have to use one. Knees in, circles on your low back. Switch directions. Keep one knee in, extend the other leg out. This is a great go to stretch for so many things. Great stretch to use throughout the day if you feel tight. This is where if you have your strap handy, we're going to take the strap around the bottom of the foot. Take the foot up towards the ceiling. I like to bend my bottom leg. It gives me more space to move. You don't have to do that. But we are going to pull the toes towards the forehead with your strap. That's gonna give you a little extra stretch. And now I want you to point your toes away. Then pull your toes down. And I want you to like pull the side foot down. So think point, push your toe, big toe into the ceiling and then switch it. Push your pinky into the ceiling. We're repeating all that one more time. Pull the toes towards the forehead. Now push the toes in towards the ceiling. Flatten the foot, push the big toe. So this would be like an eversion. You're gonna push the arch up towards the ceiling and then you're gonna push the outer part of the foot into the ceiling. So I'm moving through my ankle and my feet in different directions. Right here, flatten the foot. Open the foot to the outside. So here's your inner thigh. Keep your pelvis level. And that's going to give you the best stretch for the inner thigh here. 
Use this strap. It can pull your foot a little bit closer to your forehead. Bring the foot up. Take it over here. There is your outer hip, outer thigh stretch. Exhale, soften. Bring it back to the center. Both your knees come into the chest. Start here. Take the circles on your low back. Think of this as a reset button. After moving one side, we're going to reset, change directions. Hug the opposite knee in. Now, this is a big stretch. Hold it. Enjoy this stretch right here for opening up. Hug the knee, push the heel down and away. Strap is going to go around the bottom of the foot. Now we're going to be moving the foot just like we did on the other side. Start by pulling the toes down. Now I did bend my back leg. It feels better for me. You can keep your straighter bend. Now you push the toes into the ceiling. So now I have that push. You pull the toes down, push the big toe, the arch into the ceiling. So you're kind of twisting your foot in one direction. And then you push the pinky, the outside of the foot towards the ceiling. Flatten the foot towards the ceiling, pull the toes down. There is part of the stretch. Now you're gonna push the toes into the ceiling. Bend the ankle. Push the arch, the big toe into the ceiling. So you have like a little rotation here. And then you push the outside of the foot into the ceiling. Bring it back to center. Take the strap of the outside hand, inner thigh stretch, open it up. Bring the leg up to center, take the leg across your midline. And there's your outer hip, outer thigh stretch. Exhale, feel a softness. Bring the leg back to center. You can set your strap off to the side. Set both of your feet on the floor. We're going to take our figure four. I want you to be able to stretch out your hips. There's ankle over. If you already feel a good stretch and you want to stay here today, go for it. If you want to lift a little or a lot, you know what works for you. Take this stretch where you want it. Relax this side down. You're going to take it over on the other side. Ankle over. And again, maybe you stay low because that feels right today. Maybe you lift it a little or a lot. Bring the foot down. Bring your knees into your chest one more time. I do want to take our toes towards the ceiling. Bring your arms by your side. Take your feet up towards the ceiling. Soften your ankles. Add ankle circles in one direction. Ankle circles in the other direction. Point your toes. Spread your toes apart, get movement all the way between every toe. Soften the toes, open the legs into a V. Once they're in your V, maybe you point, flex, circles, whatever feels good. Bring your feet back up towards the ceiling. We're going to stay here for 30 more seconds. You're going to pick what works. Maybe you wiggle your toes. Maybe you point. Maybe you flex. 
Maybe you take it into a V. Whatever feels good is what you're going to do. Start bringing your feet down to the floor. Take a couple windshield wipers. That's to re loosen up your back a little, just a little side to side. Here is your happy baby. Bring your knees into your armpits. This will be our last stretch before Shavasana if you want to do any other stretches. Do what feels good for your body. Do whatever you might need so you can relax in Shavasana for just a couple minutes. So if there's any other stretches you need, take them. Otherwise, right here, you can start bringing your legs down to the corners of your mat. Let your feet fall open. Maybe you loosen up your hips, let your hips release into the mat. I'll let your shoulders come down. Feel the base of your head. Take a big exhale, blow everything out. And then let yourself melt down into the mat. Allow your body to soften and relax. Relax your face and your jaw. Relax your fingers and your toes. If your mind wanders, bring it back to your breath as a focal point, as a place to stay present. You can begin adding movement in your fingers and your toes. Take a deeper breath. Bring yourself into a long stretch, reaching from your fingers to your toes, lengthening. Knees come into your chest, giving yourself a hug. Hands 
take it off to one side, reconnect with your breath, then begin bringing yourself up into a comfortable seated position, wherever that is for you. We meet with our hands, heart sleep. Take an inhale, reach up. Hands, heart center. Namaste. 